Ready? Sure. All right. All right, welcome back. So we're here again with Alan from Subi Recycler. Hi. And for this video, what we want to talk about is an issue that Alan had as he was trying to do his initial startup on, on this uh, Spec B. Mm -hmm. Because it's a problem that, you know, a lot of people run into from time to time. And that problem is that he was having a real hard time getting oil pressure in the initial crank over phase before he went to actually fire up the engine for the first time. Right. So, so basically, I mean, that was the symptom. So you're, you're trying to crank the engine to just basically crank it until the oil light would go off. Mm -hmm. you know that you have at least some oil pressure and it just wouldn't happen. Right. So let's, what, what did you try in, in, the, in the process of trying to troubleshoot? So yeah, so our basic, anytime we're putting together an engine, um, you know, we either pull out the fuel pump fuse uh, or the fuel pump relay and we crank the key yeah. until the oil pressure light goes off in the dash and, and it usually takes between 30 yeah. 45 seconds to go. And usually pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. it's not, not no big deal. Yeah. And for whatever reason, this motor just would not do it. It wouldn't make any oil pressure. Um, right. So we pulled the, uh, we pulled the turbo uh, feed line and yeah. just to verify that it wasn't a sensor problem and it was actually an oil uh, pressure issue and yeah. it was, we were not getting any oil there at the turbo. Um, we pulled the oil pressure sender unit Verified the, the block. Right. Yeah. Verified we were not getting any oil pressure there either. Right. Um, so we started to try to diagnose what was going on. So um, at, at that point, once you knew for sure that you were not getting oil pressure, then you started to look for a mechanical reason for it. Why? Why is the pump not priming? Right. Yeah. And so we thought um, we thought about the oil pickup potentially was cracked. That was something that we always check before we put them together. But maybe we missed something. So. And, and there's no ring on top. If the O-ring got pinched as it was going onto the block or something, sure. saying. Yeah, yeah. So we that was our first step was that we pulled the pan back off of the car, um, pulled the pulled the uh, oil pickup down, verified that everything was installed properly, that the oil pickup was not cracked. Yeah. Um, so then we moved on to thinking maybe it was something with the pump, the pump itself, right. either the relief being stuck open, right. um, some sort of mechanical issue with the pump. Um, there's an opening that goes uh, in behind it that we thought potentially was not there. So we yeah. pulled the pump off, which means pulling all the timing and all that right. stuff off. So um, we pulled that off. We verified that there was no issues with any of that. So everything was checking out at this point, right? You, like literally everything that it seemed like it could possibly be, yeah. it was not, and you're still not able to get oil pressure. Right. So we were we were scratching our heads big time. So so full credit where credit is due. Alan then found a post by the guys at Alfred Motorsports. Right. And it all actually has to do with the oil filter. So Alan, why don't you explain what, what Outfront said? Sure, so well, yeah, we found a post uh, from Outfront Motorsports uh, about the same type of issue, not being yeah. able to get uh, oil pressure to prime up. Um, and so what they had said was, as we always do, we fill this uh, oil filter up with oil before we install it on the block. Um, so, and and which it, like most of us, when you do oil changes, that's just what you typically do. That, yeah. you know, the, the theory there is that's gonna make sure that the oil gets into the engine faster. faster right, yeah. yeah. And so um, what Outfront had argued is that when you fill this up completely with oil and you're on a dry startup type scenario where there is no oil in that system already, there is an air gap between the pump and the filter, filter. and that it doesn't have enough oomph to push out the oil out of the filter and into the engine so that it becomes a pressure gap there. Right. Basically the, the, the oil pump does a really good job at pumping fluid, pumping oil, but it is not very efficient at pumping air. Right. So like uh, basically that, yeah, the, with this air gap, what, what the argument is, is that you're forcing the pump to basically compress the air enough to the point where it can push its way through the full oil filter mm -hmm. and then out through the engine to release that, that air. And then once that happens, then you'd start to build pressure. But in certain circumstances, for some reason, you're just not able to do that. Right. So what? Once we you read that, we kind of, you know, speculated about that. What did you do then to? Sure. So to we test put it? we put everything back together um, using the same components that we had. Um, and then all we did was we took off the oil filter, cranked the engine, and sure enough, within a couple seconds, we had pressure coming out of the where, um, where it would normally go into the filter. Right. Yeah. yeah. We had we had oil coming out there. We spun the filter back on, we yep. cranked again, and sure enough, within about 10 seconds, the dummy light went off and we had oil pressure all over the motor. So, so what, once you did this simple, very simple fix, then everything was, was back to normal. Right, so it was a lot of headache to, yep. uh, 
to uh, to find what happened, but uh, it was well, and, and not an uncommon set of headaches. I've, I've definitely talked to people um, through the years that have run into similar things. So that's why we wanted to, you know, highlight what, what we discovered. Right. Again, big thanks to Outfront Motorsports for putting it out there. But you know, hopefully this reaches reaches people as well. Um, one of the things that's worth mentioning that we had tried, but then once we had done it and got to this point, we realized it did not help, is we had tried to prime um, the pump slightly by, by putting oil down, um, uh, basically removing the pressure sensor and, and pouring oil down this tube, mm -hmm. the theory being that that would help to prime the oil. But it turns out that that does nothing to help you in, in a situation like this. And the reason is, is that the flow of oil from the pan goes from the pan uh, up the dipstick into the pump, mm -hmm. then from the pump down into the filter, then from the filter up into the block, and then to um, to basically where the pressure sensor is. So the problem ultimately here was that we had oil in the filter, and by pouring oil down uh, where the pressure sensor was, yeah, it, was it was it was just basically adding a little bit of extra oil to the filter, and actually probably you know backfilling going further into the engine versus actually you know eliminating that air gap between the filter and the pump itself. Right. Right. Yeah. So, the problem is, yeah, in between the pump and the filter, that's that's the air gap yeah. that you have to worry about. And this yeah. is something that we've done dozens and dozens of times, and yeah. we've built dozens and dozens of motors and never run into this issue. I don't know what the specific Scenario circumstances were. Yeah. Maybe the the oil filter was completely full, whereas you know normally it's just not quite as full. I don't know what the what that scenario was, but well, that it was, was definitely it was fix. something. Yeah, and that yeah. was definitely the thing. Yeah. And the long and the short of it is, and it, well, I guess what we would say is, if you run into that issue where you're just not able to build pressure before you, you know, tear into the oil pan, the oil pump, take the timing off, etc., just make sure you take the filter off and prime it until oil comes out where the filter would be. Then you know that you've got oil from the pump to where the filter would be. Mm -hmm. Then you can put the filter on, and then you should be able. To Build pressure as well. Yeah. So as as we go forward now, and learning this scenario, we will definitely do that. We will crank and get yeah. oil to the filter pad first before we put the filter on. So yeah. that's just how we're going to do it going yes. forward. So yeah. so with any luck, hopefully save you guys some headaches. Yeah. Um, yeah and and uh, and make it just so that you you can have a little bit less stress where you're trying to prime the engine for the first time. Absolutely. So cool. Well, Alan, thanks so much. I'm sorry you had the problem, but I'm really glad that we actually were able to kind of get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Um, thanks South for Motorsports for, for actually posting the solution. Um, and Alan, where can, where can they find you uh, at Subaru Recycler? What you guys yeah. do? SubiRecycler.com. We part out all sorts of Subarus. Um, we deal with a lot of the turbo stuff. So any sort of used parts that you need, uh, give us a call. Perfect. Well, Alan, yeah. thanks very much. And thanks very much for watching. Thanks, John.